Okay, we've made the what's going to be the head of the piranha plant. Now we're going to make the base. It's not just as easy as getting a you know a styrofoam cup and painting it because it's not the same shape. So I'll show you the shape in class. If not, look it up. Uh, but it's more like this than it is like this. Now, if you have your uh, cereal. Uh, cardboard or your cardboard from your cereal box uh, this is a lot easier because it bends a lot better now knowing that a lot of you aren't going to have that cardboard I am going to show you how to do it with the tougher cardboard and uh, we're gonna make this and then we have to make the stem the head is gonna go on top of that we're probably gonna have to weigh this down somehow so it doesn't tip over and then we are going to make the leaves, paper mache it, and paint it. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to make these circles. You can't see them very well there. I think I'm going to have to outline them. So I'm going to outline them and I'll be right back. So I've outlined those circles and I just want to show you that this, a bigger circle, you need two of them just like this. The bigger circle has a diameter. The bigger circle is about four inches in diameter. The one inside of it is about three inches in diameter. So that's four and three inches. These aren't exact, but go with those measurements. You're gonna need two, just like this. Here's a little refresher. When you're gonna make that, you need half of the distance. So if we're looking for a three inch diameter, we need to go from our starting point and we need to go 1.5. To get that four inch diameter one, we go to the two. And this doesn't have to be exact. This is just to give you, give you a basic guide. Then you make holes there, like I showed you before. And you're gonna use the pencil to go around and use that as a compass for both of them, okay? And that's how you can get these circles. Once you do this, I want you to cut out one of them Well, you're gonna cut out both of them. But the inside of one, only the inside of one, are you gonna cut out. The other one, you leave it whole. Okay, how do you do this without cutting this? Well, I did it with an X-Acto knife, but I'm not gonna give you guys an X-Acto knife. So you might just have to cut right into this, and then you're gonna have to cut around it the best that you can and if this gets all bent out of shape well that's just a risk that you're gonna have to take and then once you're done you're gonna glue it back together and of course this is gonna be all bent out of shape but you glue it back together the best that you can I'm gonna glue this back together right now all right the next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get a piece of cardboard like this it should be about 12 inches long and six inches high and what you're gonna do is you're gonna divide it Right here we have this big piece is four inches and then these smaller pieces are about an inch each and you're going to divide it just like this and I want you to cut out the bottom piece. That's what I'm going to do next. Alright, those two pieces are cut out. Now we're going to cut th this one but I want you to fold this. Uh, this is a tough piece of cardboard. Like I said, if you have your, your uh, cereal box cardboard, it's going to be much different than this. But if you don't, you're going to have to take this and you're going to have to fold it up like this. And you're going to have to squeeze it. Squeeze it hard. This is harder to work with, but I've already asked you to bring all the cereal boxes that you can. I understand some of you have brought one. You might not have another. So I have to do this uh, this way. And then take it, unfold it, fold it the other way. And don't be afraid to wrinkle it up. What we want to do is we want to make it just a bit softer, more malleable. So you get something more or less uh, like this. And we want to do the same thing with this. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. 
And I folded both of those pieces and now I'm gonna cut this one down the middle. You could uh, fold it like that once it's up, when, uh, right in the beginning when it's all together. It just didn't occur to me at the time. It doesn't really matter. Save yourself a few minutes. Now once you have that, I want you to glue these two pieces together. Glue those two pieces together. Now that these pieces have been glued together, now we have enough length to go all the way around uh, this piece. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create the top here. And this piece is gonna be this piece. Now this was done with the serial cardboard so it was a lot easier and much smoother. So that's what we want to do. Make sure that you have enough uh, length to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I know that this is enough length. It doesn't have to be exact because you're just going to overlap whatever excess you have to make it match up. So I'm going to cut this. So I went ahead and I cut that and now I have to find what the right measurement is here. So I'm just going to eyeball this a bit. Actually instead of trying to put it on top, I'm going to put it on the bottom or right on the side. Yeah, so that gives me, that makes it nice and firm and that means that I can just get that measurement like that. And I'm going to glue that and hold it tight. Make sure that it stays in place. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue this edge and I'm going to put that right in there so it holds its shape. Uh, you got to work quickly so it doesn't cool down too much. Don't burn yourself. about all the little webs and just firmly squish that on. Lift it up to the edge so what I'm doing is I'm lifting it up making sure it's on the edge and just squishing it on and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna reinforce it as much as I can right around here. So that is reinforced, get rid of the webs, and that should be pretty strong once it's set up. Now, the other circle, you're going to take it and you're, you're going to put it right here, right at the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it all around the edge first and then I'm going to reinforce it that way. So I glued that on the outside. Now I want to reinforce it on the inside. It might be a little bit tough here. Just try to get in there as best as you can. Kind of like that. Got to refill my glue stick. So I refill my glue stick and just get in there as best as you can. Go all the way up to the corner. And you got to really let it go here because we can't get perfectly close. 
and just for good measure uh, reinforce the back here as well okay so now we have the top of the of where the piranha plant is going to be again it's a little just a little different than this one but it's, it's close enough the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bigger piece and we're going to take the bottom of the other piece and we are going to do the same thing we did with the other one but just on a grander scale here so I want you to wrap it around like this and make sure it's nice and tight and hold that firmly in place now we're going to do the same thing we did before right here on the bottom gonna put that here try not to burn yourself and once it's in there you can just push it towards the bottom hopefully it doesn't stick to the desk too bad and just squeeze it so it holds firm if you have any gaps like this just this is how we're gonna reinforce this one because we can't the glue gun doesn't fit in the other way And that's going to give you a cup. Now you take this top piece and we're going to glue it on like this. And that's easy enough. Just going to go around here. Try to center it as much as you can. Push down firmly. We're going to reinforce it right here. Just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And there you go. So our, our stem is gonna come out of here. We're gonna have to put it in there firmly and we might have to add some weight to it. Like I said, I don't want it to tip over with the head of the piranha plant. But that's how you make your cup. Uh, you should paper mache this as well. Give it two layers to clean up the edges and, and things like that. So I'm going to paper mache it next. Quite a little bit bigger than this one, but it gets the point across. It looks like the cup and it's the right shape. Okay, now it's time to start thinking about the stem. All right, now you're going to get your piece of the, the cup or whatever, the pipe. And we're going to draw just a few lines showing us the top and the bottom of this. The top and the bottom. Uh, the reason we want to do that is because I want the stem, I want you to put it all the way through so it has more stability. So of course we're only going to be able to see the top, but I do want it to go all the way through this, this cup or pipe.
I know you can't see that too well. Let's see if I can turn off the light and help. A little darker, but at least you can see that now. And for the stem, we want to make sure it's thick enough to hold right the weight of that first thing we did, the sphere, the head. But we also want to make sure that it's long enough because we're going to put it through the head. So you need to give yourself a little bit extra. This extra is going to go through the head and hopefully uh, be more, more firm there. And then it does have a bit of an S shape. You can get creative if you want. Uh, look at the different references. And then you, you make up your mind about how you want the stem to be. Now I want to make this base a bit wider. So it has more stability. And this piece is the one that's going to go inside of the, of the cup. And this is going to come outside. And now next to this we want to have another piece that's just as wide as this. And we want to have a long piece that's the same thickness as this. And I'll show you what you're going to do with that in just a second. Now make sure this, just make this as wide or as long as you can get it. And we'll, we'll cut away whatever extra we have. Okay, now let's cut both of those out. Okay, so those two pieces are cut out. You want to soften this the same way we did the other one. Okay, soften it as much as you can. Both ways. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take this whole piece and you're going to cut it down the center, the whole thing. Now you're going to take this and you're going to glue it onto here. We're going to glue it onto here and then this piece, the reason we softened it is because we're going to glue it slowly and we're just going to have it follow up all the way like that. That's what I'm going to do. So I put the strip of glue there and I'm going to reinforce it from the sides. Just wait for that to dry before I start gluing uh, this top piece. And you are going to have to lift it up a bit and just glue it as you go along. Try to stick to the center of it. Let me do a little bit of that on camera. So I'm going to lift it up. Uh, right here it's pretty easy. So we want to just put that down. But also probably it's going to be easier just to put a strip of glue right here along the center then lift the cardboard here and put it down on that glue uh, let's do the same thing over here we're just going to put strip of glue along the center, put plenty of glue and we're going to lift that up and we're going to bring it down right on top of that glue. Let it dry, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. 
All right, so this is gonna go inside of the cup. And this, of course, is gonna be the neck of the piranha plant. Uh, we're not gonna wrap this up in the, with the poster board, but we are gonna wrap up the neck with the poster board. So we're gonna wrap it in many places, and then we're gonna stuff it with tissue or whatever it is we have on hand. That's what I'm gonna do next. Now, when you're hooking this on, remember to, to start here on the side. Don't start right on the tip. And you're just going to turn that until it gets on there. So I've mostly wrapped up the neck or the stem, whatever you want to call it. I am going to uh, put some going this way. Uh, at this point, I am going to cut it here and try to wrap it around here, even if I have to, even if I have to twist it in a, in a strange way. Um, it might not be a bad idea to put it right there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it right on the cardboard going, uh, going this way. So this way. And we're not going to bother stuffing the, the neck here with, with anything because it's such a small space that I think we could just put tape right on top of it. And as long as the tape isn't super duper tight as to bend the the poster board, it should be okay. Uh, that's looking uh, pretty good actually. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a strip here. I feel like I need one more here. So I am gonna put one there as well. You don't wanna have any huge uh, gaps. So if you come across any, just cover them up. I'm not gonna put it on here because uh, that's gonna go into, into the headpiece. Yeah, now I'm just gonna get some tape and start wrapping that up in tape. So here's my tape. Um, I think for, for this particular one, it might be okay to just uh, wrap it continuously. Or you could do it in pieces. Uh, whatever you think is fastest, either way, this shouldn't take too long. All right, I'm gonna finish that off camera and then I'll come back on camera to put this inside the cup. Okay, so now I have my cup and I have this piece, which is the neck. And I want to put this right in there. So what I want you to do is I want you to mark it We're going to cut it Just drive some scissors in there Uh, go a little bit beyond your measurement and of course it doesn't have to be precise because once we start putting it in there we're just gonna stretch it hopefully however it needs to stretch to fit and 
That's a pretty good fit. How far low that goes. Now that doesn't go low enough for me uh, to cover up these pieces. So we're going to have to adjust it. So make your lines. So we're going to cut off these extra pieces. We're going to have to add some more poster board, round it out, and then uh, put the tape and go from there. So, um, it's just a, a little bit too long here. Uh, another thing we can do is we could take that distance and take it off from the bottom. So, just quickly take a, uh, that measurement and we're going to take off that much off of the whole thing and hopefully that will take us to the bottom. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Now let's try it again. Uh, go in the corners first. Hmm. Now we have a bit of a problem. So I think I took it off. It's going to be a little a little short so when this goes on so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to lift it up a bit and it's really firm in there okay so that was too short so I'm gonna go back to the other plan which is just to take off a little bit here Keep it long. Okay, probably one more strip will be enough. Wrap that around. It wasn't enough, but I'm, I'm just going to get another little piece and complete that link. There you go. Now take some tape, we're going to wrap it around here, a little bit of reinforcement since we didn't add the additional strips uh, vertically. All right, now that can go back in. And that gives you a little bit more length. I think that's much, much better. Uh, now I do want you to paper mache this. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we're going to uh, detail the head, then we're going to attach the head and we'll finish off by, by painting the whole thing. And we might add, like I said before, hopefully this can handle the weight. It seems like it will be able to right now, but if it can't handle the weight, we'll just make a, a little hole somewhere here, add some, some rice or something, something to give it some weight so it could handle, so 
it can handle it. And I, I do want to just reinforce it a bit so it doesn't come out. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put some glue around here. And we're going to cover that up later. I'm not sure exactly how, but we are going to cover this area so that doesn't show nearly as much. All right, I'm going to paper mache this, and after it uh, has the paper mache on, then this video will be over. And we'll go on to the next video, which is going to be to detail the head. We're going to actually cut this open, open it, maybe add a piece so it has an open mouth, add the teeth, add the tongue, add the lips, and then we're going to attach this to this, either by taking this off or opening a hole in here, making sure that we have space for it. Since we are going to open this, I'm just worried that uh, this might be showing through the mouth, but we'll shorten it up enough so we don't have that problem. Okay, so I paper mache the pipe and the stem. And that's it for this video. The next video, we're going to take this apart. We're going to shape it on the inside. This is going to go attached like this. And we're going to give it teeth. We're going to do all of that good stuff. All right, I'll see you next time.